everybody I know I'm in trouble I said I wasn't gonna do it and I did it another unboxing we are <laughs> in so much trouble um cannot wait for you guys to see this it is ridiculous let me get the box out of the way because you know I'm working in a limited space we have yes it's another square <laughs> Um, <clears throat> you guys are not going to believe this. I, have you ever, ever seen me do a Chuck Pinson? The answer would be no, because I do not do landscapes, okay? First of all, his work is usually a Jedi mind, you know what, for me. So, um, I don't usually go there. And every time I see those cabins in the woods, here, let's cut open the government plastic and get this puppy off. But I saw something. Um, one of the other content creators got this and I freaked out. And then I went, that's Chuck Pinson? Wait a minute. This is Chuck Pinson. And it's my first one ever. And I had to get it because it had all this blue in it. It's called Christmas Deer. I know I told you guys that I wasn't going to buy any more cabin paintings this year. Um, well, as you know, I am now a big fat, fatty, fat liar because I did it. <laughs> I, I, I had to. I saw it and I went ookie bagooki and I said this goes with you know I'm I'm really you know trying to uh, be more selective about the the canvases I choose and I really want to get them on the wall you know if they're not going to be artwork I don't want them just sitting in a closet so I had to and here we go. Are you guys ready? I know you're probably dying by now. It's I'm not used to like, you know, dragging people around for 20 minutes. Okay. Toolkit. More baggies. We need those. The sticker for the box. Um, I may have to have the box for this one. I don't know. Oh, she is heavy. There's a little weight to it. It is not a lightweight, and I'm very nervous about it. Not only is it square, but it's also a Chuck Pinson, which everybody has psyched me up so much about. But it might look, I don't know, it's not landscapey to me. It's the most beautiful Christmas tree. I can't wait to see it. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm ready too. Uno, dos, tres. Don't pay attention to my thinking of me, girl. She's over there. Oh, my God. So, so already. Look at all the blue. You guys know I'm having like a major blue kind of obsession this year. Oh, isn't, oh, my God. He's beautiful. That's a big old tree. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to have to jerk it up a little bit. Here we go. Okay, I can't even get this all in frame. You guys know how it works for me. I, I kind of try, but sometimes we have to do her in sections. And, um, oh my gosh, what a beautiful image this is. And I want to do something weird too. <laughs> okay, it's horizontal. It is called Christmas Deer. So it's kind of landscape-ish, but look at all the lavenders and purples and the blue and the white and the gray. There's really a ton of blue in here. Blue is the primary background color until you get up into the sky. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having sound issues. There are 53 colors. And it is 29 by 22, which is 70, 74 centimeters by 56 centimeters. Ooh, he's a little bigger than I thought. I don't know why. I think it looks smaller. 
There are, okay, let's do the AB count because that's all we really care about, right? I may have to put Think of Me on. Now, I have been really good, you guys, without doing, um, you know, whips on the diamond paintings. I wanted to do one at a time, start it, finish it, review it, and move on. But it's the middle of November, and how beautiful would this thing be? For the holiday. I mean, because I have so much blue going around. Oh my God, there's sparkles everywhere. Okay, there is 124, which is a lavender color. And I can see him right away. 126, 133, and 141. There are four ABs in this kit. You know what that means? Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. All right. If you don't like the sound of the crinkling paper, cover your ears for five seconds. I'll, I'll be done in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and show these colors because this, we got to look at this. All right. Let's bring it down nice and slow so nobody gets motion sick. I hope you're all doing good today. By the way, if this is your first time here, welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. My name is Joanna, and I'm so glad to have you here today. Um, this is 124. Holy cannoli. Isn't she pretty? I'm going to go through the colors real quick. I'm not going to go through all of them, but definitely want to see what we have here. Um... The ivory is so sparkly. I almost thought this was an AB diamond. Super, super clean. I am not seeing any crud or dust. I got a really good clean batch here. Hunter green, there's ivory, there's beautiful. Yeah, this is gonna be all up in here, this beautiful fuchsia color. Um, lots of taupey ivory too, look. Our favorite color. Wow. This is 3837. And I mean, talk about a poiple. It's a poiple explosion. Uh, 336. More blues. A lot of blues. And you know what? I'm noticing from the list, there are many shades of blues. And I think that's what you need to acquire this beautiful ombre-ish um, effect that I think this is going to bring. I am excited. I'm not a Chuck Pinson girl, and this is my first one ever. But I am having a big old reindeer kind of a Christmas. And I think you'll see a little bit of the theme when I do my little house tour after. Oh, I got the fireplace people coming this week. They have, are you ready for this? There is going to be a man who is actually going to crawl into the flue of my fireplace. They told me, I said, you're punking me. There's no way. What do you do? Call Cirque du Soleil people? Who are these people? Look at this really pale, plummy color. It's not translating that great on, on camera, but... Oh, there. Bop, bop. AB alert. Look at the sparkly sparkles. Now, if I have any of these left over, I only keep the ABs. I, I pitch the rest of them because I have seen people with boxes and books and boxes and more boxes. It becomes quite a hoarding situation. I don't need all that drill stuff happening in my life. The only thing I keep are the ABs. The rest of them, I use them or lose them. Look at these colors, people. So many shades. A blue and pinkle. Pinkle. <laughs> pinkle, that's a new color. Pinkle. Uh, blue and pinks and fuchsia. Oh, sage green. This is one of my favorite colors on the planet. I'm a softy girl. I love the soft sage green. Um, I don't know where he goes. He must be part of the reindeer somewhere in here. Because that is a really weird kind of autumny, orangey kind of tannish color. 
doesn't look like it fits with the color theme, but who am I to judge? I don't chart these things. I just lay them down where you tell me to. I will not be doing... Now, what I thought about doing, I have some really cute old-fashioned brooches, like little tiny brooches that would almost qualify as earrings, and I'm thinking about pinning them in the tree. They're real old and they're real vintage. What do you guys think? Do you think that's insanity or what? I could put it in a shadow box frame, which would uh, give it uh, a little bit of leave, you know, just to add some little ornaments to the tree, make it a little more tree-like. Up oh, 666. This red is, ooh, it, it almost looks pink. Um, too pretty. We call it devil red. <laughs> it's devil red. You shouldn't have that color. I'm like, but it's just a number, people. Okay, more purple. Look at the vibrancy. Anyway, I am thrilled. Um, beautiful, beautiful kit. And not too late for the holiday. And I think I might be able to knock this out in a couple of weeks. And if not, um... Jump on it and go get one, and you can, um, thank God I had some points, so I really got a good discount on this. I cannot remember the exact price, but I'm sure you can go to diamondartclub.com, and they will be glad to tell you, uh, everybody, you know, has different bonus points according to what they buy or don't buy, or, anyway, um, <sighs> amazing. Amazing! And I have the Blue Christmas from Bella Safina, which has the big reindeer and all the blues. This girl is going to fit right in. I mean, how darn Christmassy is this? Anyway, um, okay, so I'm not going to stay on long. I'm trying to keep long suffering husband. Uh, he's got dental problems, he's afraid of the dentist. This is now an issue, people. I don't know what to do. It's like having a very grown-up, receding hairline eight-year-old. Anyway, uh, but I have got to take care of him and get him back on his feet. And uh, he's taking the antibiotics. And, you know, it's just it's the saddest thing when somebody's in dental pain. It's the worst kind of pain because you really can't do anything to comfort them. Anyway, um, so say a hidey ho for poor long suffering husband who is now really suffering. This is going to be a lot more work than I thought, but if I really were to kit this up and jump on it, I think I could get it knocked out in a couple of weeks. And that would be right around the beginning of December. And then, you know, what, like it's hard? <laughs> Oh, you Chuck Pinson people are going, girl, you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. What are you talking about? I'm excited. Um, the background, the tree colors, it is landscape-ish, but no creepy cabins in the woods where Dexter lives, which, you know, I don't know why. I don't know why some of those landscapes just give me the heebie-jeebies. Isn't it weird how we all have a special kind of little tick about what we love and what we don't love? Um, so, yeah. So, two unboxings in two days. I'm going to be a busy girl. I really am. Um, I've got a lot to keep me going through the holiday and through next year. Hopefully, I'm saying I'm not doing any more. But you never know. You never know because you say you're you're done with it and we're not going to go crazy by anymore and then boom, this guy shows up. I mean, it's just beautiful. I think it will be a wonderful addition to my collection of um, actual framed art that will be on my wall at least till February. I don't take my Christmas stuff down till like February. <laughs> Last year, I think it was like the end of March. It's, it's, it's pitiful how long I keep it up. Um, but I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to see it all done. And if, 
how would you embellish it? Would you embellish it or just leave it as is? Because I really love it, but I don't know. Do you see this shady tree over here? That is like super misty and there's all these shadows of trees. Yeah, I don't think there'll be a whole lot of color blocking, but I do not believe that it is as confetti heavy as some of his other work. So I'm really, really super excited to try it. And um, I don't know, we'll be doing mini whipping chats or I'll be cussing all the way home. Uh, there are some, you know, really big color block areas that I think I could whip through it. Not as slow as it might be, but then again, you know, I never know. You never know until you actually start drilling it. And then we'll just take it drill by drill. And it'll be a wonderful thing to do. Oh, you guys, I'm really... I got the George Washington book. <laughs> this thing, thank God, I got it on an audio because it was like 800 pages. And um, it talks about George. And, of course... You know, my dog is not named after George Washington, but he was an interesting creature. And um, I think that you guys might be interested in this book. If you're historians at all, George Washington used to do the really funny, weird thing that I did. I, I, I did it when I was younger and, you know, just getting started in my whole decorating and event planning business and all of that um he would go to dinner parties and <laughs> george was a stylish man he always had all of his clothes made in france they were all custom made and he would go to dinner parties and you know what he was like that guy with the with the camera taking pictures of everything and making notes and going huh i'm gonna do that in my house and i'm gonna do this and he would have a little notepad and he would literally clip up and hijack ideas from other influential people that had really beautiful dinner parties and that is how he became quite the party guy if you got invited to george's house for a, a dinner party and this is before the white house and before he actually became our president um <laughs> you know he was kind of an interesting guy. He was very, very stylish. And anyway, if you're up for the story, go get the book, audio it. I bet I get him done. <laughs> the thing is going to take me forever to get through. But it is intriguing. It's interesting to see all the things he did to become the man he became. And he was terribly ambitious. And he did some really amazing stuff to get there. And, um, so that's my, my book I'm kind of interested in. Anyway, enough of that today. I just wish you all a happy weekend. Everybody shine on. Uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, Germa season is weathering up. We are getting to freezing tonight. Like 30 something degrees. We actually have a freeze warning. Look at all these trees. Oh. I love it. It's beauty mess. Uh, so anyway, we have a lot of uh, cold weather and icky pickies. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm trying to get that glare off of you. This light never cooperates for me. Ever. I'm, we're we're going to have to go to couples therapy. I'm not loving it at all. But I am loving him. And I wanted to share him with you. And uh, get busy. It's not too late. I got this in like a week's time. I'm not kidding. Diamond Art Club is on top of their shipping. They are not messing around this year, people. They are doing it quick. So, go get you one. And I'll talk to you soon. Shine on. Have a happy day. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.